What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 257 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off some of the best setups to give you some ideas and inspiration for your own setup. If you see anything you like today, I'll have all the gear and hardware listed for you in the description down below, in case you're trying to pick something up to upgrade your room, your setup, all that good stuff. We'll kick it off now, 257. First up today, we have Hector. And even though it's a single monitor setup, there is a lot going on, definitely honing into that real gamer aesthetic here. Loving a lot of the accents and RGB around the setup as well, with those RGB floating shelves, the figures up top, it all just looks and blends really good and visually ties in perfectly to his wallpaper. So checking it out for his single display, it's an AOC 24 inch, 144 hertz, and down to his peripherals, unfortunately, Hector didn't give me any info on his mouse and keyboard. So I can't really identify him just by visuals. It does appear like he sort of customized him to fit in more of like a black and white theme. I reached out to him. He never got back to me. So yeah, if you know what they are, comment down below. Hector, if you're watching, check your email more frequently. Now he did provide us info on the audio. We do have a BM800 microphone, his headset or headphones with the Edifier W800 wireless, and also for desktop speakers, the Logitech Z213. But now checking out his beautifully crafted wall-mounted PC, which is made of a DIY case. So he personally made this with spare materials and constructed it really nicely as well. Again, a nice black and white theme to it here. For the hardware, is an AMD Ryzen 5 2600 CPU with an NZXT X52 AIO, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX RAM on an Asus Tough B450M Pro gaming motherboard, and an MSI RX 5500 XT for the graphics card but again a really nice job customizing it here a lot of the black and white vinyls to make it fit in really neatly done so all in all Hector a very nice setup there's a lot of times where I'll see setups where I'm like oh I wish you could have done this or I wish you could have done that but here I feel like you just tied the room all together really nicely with a lot of the things like the collectibles the RGB it's a very cohesive and complete gaming setup you manage to pull off the fact that there's a lot going on, but it doesn't seem too busy or overcrowded. And that's really not an easy thing to do, so props to you. Now, holy moly cannoli. Side story, while your jaw drops, growing up there was a place, I think in like Jersey, that had the holy moly cannoli. It was a 12 pound cannoli. That was my birthday cake one year. Now, does that relate to this? No, but they are both absolutely insane. I love everything about how this setup is constructed from the nice like light wooden pegboard behind it, the abundance of plants, the life that really just breathes into this room, the setup, the natural lighting, glorious. So the chair here for a sit stand desk is the Herman Miller Mira 2 and for his two monitors they are both LG ultra wide with so his primary being a 34 inch and the vertical ultra wide off to the right side being a 29 inch. And you'll see on top of the primary monitor, he does have a monitor light bar acting as a desktop lamp. Down to his peripherals, his keyboard is an Iquinix F96 Night keyboard, that all stealth black with Logitech G900 mouse. Then also for audio on his desktop are the Kanto YU4 speakers in the nice matte black. And for headphones, the Sennheiser HD 6XX. They're powered by a Fio E10K amp and DAC. And he also has a HyperX SoloCast microphone. Also on the desktop, you could spot his 2018 iPad Pro there right in the middle, acting as that third display, you know, extra productivity and extra screen. Now we can check out the PC, which is underneath the desk. It is the NZXT H500 case and inside is a Ryzen 3700 CPU with an NZXT Kraken X62 AIO. Got 16 gigs of G-Skill Ripjaw V-Series RAM on an MSI B550 Tomahawk motherboard with an EVGA GTX 1070 Ti Superclock GPU. Visually inside, great job on cable management. The PC is kept off the floor, so no issues with dust intake. And also cable management coming out the backside very very neat and organized as well and just speaking of which check out how clean that undercarriage is we all can appreciate a damn good job at cable management and man that's a 
That's a good job right there. How about some other shots around the room so you could just soak in how well this room is laid out and designed. The aesthetic here is a 500 on a 10 star scale. I love everything about this room. It's designed so nicely and he even has a spot for an LG 49 inch TV here. Great little section for the entertainment center. This entire room is just what I dream about at night. I'll tell you what, we barely managed to keep the very few plants alive in our house that we have. I don't know how all these look so vibrant and just healthy. You gotta give me some tips, Nick. And also, let's just trade rooms. Like, I'll take yours, you take mine, and we'll both be happy, maybe? I'll be happier, probably, because this is super nice. It's way better than mine. I love you, Nick. What? Next up is Jamie with a triple monitor setup. The first submission had one, last setup had two. Now with the trifecta. This a corner setup as well, you don't see them too often, but in this case, a great use of space in the room. There's a lot going on just in a corner, which usually, you know, is like wasted space in a room. So for his primary monitor, Jamie's rocking an LG 32 inch ultra gear monitor with a 165 Hertz refresh rate. And the two vertical monitors on each side are 27 inch AOC monitors at 144 Hertz. So much hurts it hurts. Now for his peripherals, Jamie's giving himself options. All right, he has a HyperX Alloy Elite keyboard. In the back behind that, you also see the HyperX Origin 60% keyboard. His primary mouse is the HyperX Pulsefire Dart. But also in the back when he's not gaming, he has two Logitech MX Master 3 mice. And we're not done there because he's got two mouse pads with the HyperX Fury Extra Large as the extended desk pad. And on top of that, it was his HyperX Fury Ultra RGB pad. And sticking with the love for HyperX, for audio, he also has the HyperX Cloud Flight S headset and his microphone, the HyperX Quadcast. Now we can check out the PC. You can also see right here is his Elgato Stream Deck, but inside a Ryzen 3700X CPU with an MSI Mag Core Liquid 240R AIO, 64 gigs of T-Force Delta RGB RAM on an MSI Mag Mortar B550 motherboard, and an MSI RTX 3070 Gaming Trio Z for the graphics card. That's all inside the Corsair IQ 465X crystal case. Got a bunch of RGB in the PC, a bunch of RGB around the desk and behind the monitors as well, giving us a very bright and vibrant gaming room. You can also see for his entertainment center, got a nice TV, console gaming as well, so we got both the options. PC gaming, console gaming, 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 gaming. And just like that, now the fourth setup has four displays with three monitors and a massive 50 inch as the overhead. Captain Jack the fourth with one Roman numeral for each display. We also have a fellow Corgi dad. So there's a lot going on in this setup, three different PCs to be exact, uh, but we're just gonna focus on his primary gear, the primary hardware, because we don't have all day. Right. So for those three displays, they are each an Acer 27 inch at 144 Hertz. Like I said before, that overhead is a 50 inch Samsung 4K TV. But down to his main set of peripherals, he's rocking Logitech G915 TKL keyboard. This has the tactile brown switches inside with the Logitech G502 Lightspeed Wireless on Logitech G PowerPlay mouse pad, which is underneath the random Frank P. Novel Keys desk mat. Nice taste here, very, very nice. You can also spot in the background the Elgato Stream Deck and the Go XLR Mini. Then also for audio, he has the Bose Companion 2 Series 3 speakers with the Razer Nari Ultimate headset. So for his main PC, okay, this is from Mountain Mods. It's their U2 UFO custom case. Inside's a Ryzen 3900X CPU, an entirely custom cooling job on the inside with 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro RAM on an ASUS BA450 Strix Gaming F motherboard and an EVGA RTX 3070 FTW3 Ultra graphics card. And in terms of the other two PCs beside his primary gaming PC, he has a separate streaming PC, which is inside the Corsair case, and then a portable PC inside the NZXT H210 case. Each PC, yes, has its own dedicated peripheral set as well. Like I said, lots of hardware. And given all that, it did not go unnoticed the stellar cable management job behind the monitors. Everything here neatly mounted, 
power bricks. It is all beautifully managed. This is magic. And then on the side of the Samsung 50 inch TV mounted up on the wall, you can see he has the consoles there mounted really nicely. Seems to be some special edition like PS4 and Xbox controllers as well. Tons of like art and stuff around the room, bringing the really cool gamer vibes. Got some RGB lining the wall going up, RGB around the desk. So much gear, so much hardware. Killer job here, Captain Jack. And then last but not least, we have Matt R. I'm going to get cheeky with it. For the fifth submission, were you expecting five displays to follow the order? Check out the two little tablets. <laughs> we got five people. Boom. And that's how you craft an episode. But this is also how you craft a beautiful setup because he can completely change up the theme, the colors, just like that from purple to the nice coppery orange sort of effect to the setup. And man, oh man, it's a nice one too. It's funny how RGB can completely change the setup. Like this looks nothing like the first photo. But now diving into the hardware, the side-by-side -side displays on the bottom are an ASUS 27 inch with the overhead being an ASUS Pro Art 23 inch display. Got some little ring lights on each side as well for some extra lighting. But down to his peripherals, he has the HyperX Alloy Origins keyboard with the Aqua switches inside with the Logitech G502 Hero mouse. And as I mentioned before with those two tablets, he uses those sort of like a digital stream deck in a way where you can have different functions, macros, all stuff programmed to these tablets. His headphones of choice over on the left side is the Philips Fidelio X2HR. I will say, since the headphones are the only like source of audio here, some nice like wood grain edifier speakers mounted somewhere up on the wall would look really nice here. Now over to the PC inside the Lian Lee 011 dynamic case. By the way, stay tuned to the channel. Very, very soon we're going to be doing a build with something from Lian Lee. That's gonna look pretty, pretty cool. But this is a really nice looking build. We have a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU with an NZXT Kraken X53 AIO, 64 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM on a Gigabyte Aorus Pro Wi Fi motherboard, and a Gigabyte RTX 2070 Super Windforce GPU. So, gotta say, Matt, loving this setup. The triple monitor, you got all the proper lighting, the RGB, the chameleon RGB, where you can just change the setups, look completely, everything ties in. Got the little ring lights, the foam up on the wall. This is a really nice gaming setup. All right, guys, that'll wrap it up for episode 257 of Room Tour Project. Hope you all enjoyed. Hope you dig the setups. If you dig this episode, a big thumbs up and show your support. And don't forget, all the gear and hardware will be listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Plus some very simple instructions on how to submit your setup. Don't mess up the instructions. They're very, very simple. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.